I want to talk about why I can't move to mirrorless cameras from DSLRs because it's something no one is discussing here and it's a, it's a real serious issue. Now, I've been shooting for many moons. I own all SLR cameras, not all DSLRs. I've got 645s that have a mirror. I've got 35mm cameras, which are film ones with a mirror. And of course, I've got everything from the 1DS Mark II right through to the latest 5DSR cameras. All of them have mirrors. Now, the reason's probably not for you to think. It's not some affinity to mirrors. I don't have some weird obsession with mirrors. I don't have some weird obsession with the way the autofocus works in them compared to mirrorless cameras. And it's nothing to do with sensor size, batteries, or any of that. So let's talk business. This here, covered in small rigs gear, is a 5DSR. This is what I make my money with. This costs a thousand pounds. Keep that number in your head because it's very important. For the price of three of these, I could get a Canon R5. Now, of course, we need a backup Camry, so we need two. Camry, camera, so we need two. That's £6,000. So it's £2,000 for two 5DSRs, or £6,000 for two Canon R5s. If I spend £6,000 today moving to mirrorless, will I make £6,000 more? And I know what you're thinking, yeah, but Scott, you're shooting a studio, everything's controlled. Of course you won't. It doesn't matter to you. I do something different and I do need that. I can't fathom what you possibly need or how low your skill set must be that you can't make the same money on this camera and you have to go to mirrorless. Now I know what you're thinking, yeah, but Scott, I shoot weddings. I shoot sport. I need this. I need it. It's got the higher FPS. It's got this autofocus that just, just focuses. You know, all of these great things. But my question is this, and I'm going to give you a relative thing because maybe it's not something you've thought of. For me, it'd be great to be able to focus stack in camera and to have higher resolution. It would allow me to do better things. I could buy a phase one for about 65, 70,000 pounds. If I buy that camera, yes, I can get shots quicker, more economically, better. But do I make more money? My question is not. Does having a mirrorless make you a better photographer? It may well do. It may well increase your hit rate. But what do you think we did before this? Like, do you think the work that's being produced since mirrorless cameras is so much better that it makes DSLRs redundant and anyone who shoots in them obsolete? I know people who shoot weddings on film still with manual focus cameras and they get paid. I know people who shoot in the studio on 8x10 with film and they get paid, especially that chap in New York with the watches. He makes a good amount of money for that. I understand the insecurity of going, but if I'm shooting a wedding, I don't want to miss that key shot. And I've got to have all of this stuff in place to make sure it's perfect. I get that. But let's think of it from a business point of view. Would it not be better just to up your skill set? I used to shoot live gigs and weddings on a 5D classic. 1600 ISO with golf ball size grain. Those images still stand up today. The equivalent I find in terms of gains, and I do understand the world of you know people and sports and all the rest of it, it's the same as me going from a 5DS to a phase one in terms of the increments. Now, the price increase is obviously absolutely different. The, the, can't compare a phase one and a R5, but it's that same thing. Now, if I could get a phase one for £3,000 and this camera here for £1,000, would I buy it? And here's where it gets a bit nasty in the comments. Yes, I would. Would it make financial sense? No, it wouldn't. And, and I think this is where I'm starting to understand the mindset. I would be like, yeah, but I can do all this stuff. But as soon as I go and speak to my accountant and she has no idea about photography, she's like, why do you need that? It does this. Will it make you more money? No. At which point I won't be buying it because we run businesses. That's what this channel is all about, as I'm sure you well know. It's about running a business. Now, if I was a hobbyist, and I am a hobbyist as well. I do have cameras just for hobbying. If you want to see my camera collection, let me know in the comments below and I'll bust them out of the safe one day. But if I was a hobbyist and my hobby was to shoot what I do today as a job, would I buy a phase one at £65,000? Yeah, for sure. It's just for fun. It's like buying a fancy sports car. It's just something I'd like to have. But as a professional and as a business owner, it makes no sense. And this is where the world gets confusing and hobbyists have better cameras than pros because it's a hobby. If you go and hop in an Uber, you'll notice a lot of them drive very old Toyota Priuses. If they buy the newest Toyota Prius, it doesn't make them more money. Yes, it does all these cool, fun things. It might save them a little bit on fuel economy, but their overheads are going to increase drastically and their income doesn't. 
if I buy a better camera, my overheads increase, my income doesn't. Now, of course, one day I will have to move to mirrorless because DSLRs aren't made anymore. And it'll become a time when I just can't get a reliable camera. But that's probably 10 years away. And by then I'll probably have moved to Fuji's GFX system because it's starting to get quite good. Um, but there we go. That, that's how it is. That's throw that curveball in at the end with an expensive camera with no justification. I'm sure you like that. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.